and welcome to our house tour. We have been living in our new house for about a month, um, but with the pregnancy and kids starting school, it just took me forever to get ready and get everything filmed. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. All right, so you come into the house at the bottom level, which is the basement. Um, disclosure first, this is a three bedroom, four bathroom house. So this is the first bathroom. It's just right here when you first walk in, something special. It's your regular average bathroom. It's actually my husband's man cave bathroom, so I don't really want to spend much time in there. <laughs> Close this door. And then, so they didn't give us a closet for like coats and things like that. So here I have a key hanger. And then here I'm going to put in my own like coat rack type system. At the bottom here though, I do already have a shoe rack. Um, for if we have any company or anything like that. So yes, entryway is not done. Excuse the fingerprints. If anybody has any tips for removing so many, many, many fingertips and smudges from walls without removing paint, please let me know. Um, we moved in a lot of furniture in a small space, so we just have a lot of like smudges and you know places where the walls got smudged. Anyway, excuse me being out of breath. Hashtag seven months pregnant uh more wall coverings and then i had this sign for my sweet friend that was hanging up on my wall here it fell the command strip um did not hold it pulled the paint off and it fell so i'm going to get a hook and i'm going to put that back on the wall as soon as i get a chance this is just my hospital bag um maybe in another video i'll share what's in that but yes that's my hospital bag for just in case we have to jump up and go to the hospital. And then this is the main cave. Please excuse the mess, obviously. We haven't gotten it straight. We have a lot of furniture that's like still on back order. Um, my husband's trying to get like the uh, television mounted. He's selling a couple things um, on Macari, so there's that. I had to do a lot of um, like decluttering and getting rid of stuff once we moved into a smaller space. This is a closet. It's just a storage closet. Um, I guess I could open it up and show you, but everything is a mess. And I know it's going to be a mess until I really have time to just like go through everything. So you guys can look forward to many, many, many organizational videos in the future. This is just a utility closet. So of course like water heater, all that kind of stuff. This is another storage closet, but it also houses like our internet box and everything, stuff that we need for security. Um, I will say this, I'll point this out really quickly. One of the really nice things about this house is that they have sprinklers in every room. So um, if there was to be a fire, of course, um, the fire would be put out right away. So that is, very awesome. I'm gonna come up the steps. Please don't mind me huffing and puffing as I make my way up here. <sighs> All right, so when you get upstairs, the first thing you see is a kitchen. We currently are still waiting for stools that are on back order. These are our chairs. So these chairs actually go to our dining room set. It's so funny because all four chairs came. It's four chairs, um, a dining bench, and a table. The table hasn't come, but all of the chairs came. So we just slid the chairs up to the island um, just to have somewhere to eat. This space over here is the actual dining room. Those are all of our patio cushions, so don't mind those. And that's just a box of school supply. And then of course we're getting ready for football Sunday, so that'll be in my next video. But anyway, yeah, so this is the dining room. It's just kind of being used as whatever right now. And then we've got our little family calendar here. I ordered this from Erin Condren a couple years ago, so I'm sure it's still on the website, but it's very big and I like it. It kind of keeps us organized. Move on to the outdoor space here. Okay, so we've got two like lawn chairs. We really don't have 
any neighbors right now. I think there might be one person that lives a couple doors down, but we're the only people out here so far. So we've got a table in between the two lounge chairs. And over here, we've just got your average deck furniture, table, chairs, umbrella. And then that is just our smoker. And then Snickle Fritz deciding if he wants to join me. <sighs> Snickle Fritz, make a choice. Okay. So I'm just going to let him hang out there for a second. And it's safe. He can't, like, he can't get off of here. He's tried a couple times, like, stick his head through there, but it, it's a no-go. <laughs> so I'm just going to leave him there for just a few seconds. Um, this is just my breakfast that I haven't finished eating. Don't mind that. Um, we've got a nice, big, deep sink here. We have a dishwasher. Um, the normal stuff. Microwave. We have a stove. Um, we have a fridge. So the house came with all of the stainless steel um, kitchen appliances. Um, this little corner is just like my little bar area. It's so small that I, I'm debating if I'm going to put a Keurig over here or not. I'm not sure. Um, we don't have any alcohol currently. Shocker. But yeah, so this is just my little bar space. I'm keeping all of like my Ray Dunn mugs and stuff in this area just to kind of like Keep it out of the way. Let me grab Snickle first before we do the living room. Snick. Come on, Snick. It's time to go. It's time to go in. Come on. Come on, Snick. Psst. Come on. Let's go in the house. All right, cool. Let me just lock up. That's one thing I do really enjoy um, just about having a deck. It's nice that he's able to go out and kind of get himself like some fresh air. Um, and I know he's safe from like going through the grass and getting fleas and ticks and all that. Um, behind us, eventually there'll be more homes and like a strip of trees. But for right now, since we're like the first people to move in, you can see all this is just like one big blank canvas, but it's gonna go Further and further back, there's gonna be a pool, a gym, a rec, like a rec hall, just a whole bunch of stuff. All right, so moving back in, this is our little living room area for right now. We have another sofa coming that's kind of gonna complete this and kind of make it like, see if I can back up a little bit, make it like a complete roundabout sofa and we'll push it back and push it down a little bit, but for now, we just have it here. We're going to mount that television as well. I have my little basket where I keep like the throw blankets. So like you'll see this one here and I have one in the basket. That's just like mail and filming equipment, equipment that you see there in the corner. We have this chair that used to be in my husband's old man cave. Um, once we get the other sofa, though, we'll probably move that out of here. We don't have, like, blinds and curtains up yet because I really hadn't decided on a color scheme. So I just kind of decorated the windows with random stuff, like pictures of the baby. I'm hoping to get a 4D ooh, ultrasound to put in here. And then a picture from when the baby's born. Over here is a photo album that one of my friends got me. That I just love. I can't wait to start putting pictures in it. That's a picture frame that needs a picture. <laughs> and then um, this is just a little Ray Dunn family pumpkin. And over in this window, I just have another Hello Pumpkin um, sign and an orange pumpkin. It's just so hard right now to know what direction I'm going to go in in terms of end tables and things like that. So I don't know yet what I'm going to do with that. And I have an open space here too where I could put like a china cabinet or something like that. So for right now, my fall decor is just kind of randomly scattered um, just all over the place because <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing yet. 95% of it is Hobby Lobby. All of this is Hobby Lobby. Every pillow. Um, the blanket came from Home Goods, And then... The rest of this fall decor is pretty much all nothing but Hobby Lobby, so 
If you ever wonder where my fall decor came from, check Hobby Lobby. That's your first uh, <laughs> line of defense. Um, this is just Snickleford's cat tree. Um, if you're a cat owner, then you know cats like to have a place where they can kind of just hide and tuck away from the world. So there's his cat tree. We also have another cat post here where he can go and scratch because I'm trying my best to deter him from scratching up my sofa. Speak of the devil. You want to show him upstairs? Come on. Let's go upstairs. <sighs> Don't mind me huffing up the next flight of steps. <sighs> All right. When you come off the landing directly to the left is me and my husband's room, but also the kids' bathroom. It's still decorated for summer. That'll change soon when I put all the fall stuff up. But yeah, it's a pretty basic bathroom. I did add these command hooks for their bath towels here. So you can see one for Jay, uh, one for Mar, and then of course one for the new baby. So I plan on putting like little picture frames here with each one of their initials. So yeah, lots more uh, videos going. The bump is in full effect. <laughs> yeah, it's just a basic bathroom. And swinging over here to our room. One of the things we're still waiting for is another end table. Because my husband doesn't have one right now. He has his stuff on our mini fridge. And yes, we're one of those people that keeps mini fridges in their bedrooms. Because we like to have cold drinks and not have to go downstairs. We're also going to mount a TV in here. Not this one specifically, um, a different one. Whew. We've got some blackout curtains as we both prefer not to have the sun wake us up. On my nightstand, I just have a little bit of fall aesthetic. Um, I have a big fluffy pumpkin. I have one of my favorite quotes. And I have a candle, um, cinnamon beignet. I got that from Target for $3. Hopefully it works well. And then I just have a little cup coaster. I like to have stuff like that so I don't mess up the furniture. And yeah, it's just a regular average bed. It's got a little bit of buffalo check going for fall. And then our bathroom. It is a double vanity bathroom. It has a very large mirror and then a walk-in shower. Let's see if I can illuminate that a little bit better. Yeah, so walk-in shower and it does have a bench where you can sit down, which is good for me because I really cannot shave standing up at this point. And then we just have a toilet, self-explanatory. All right, so heading out of our room. This is the area where I'm going to have the, it's called like a kitty cabinet. So the cabinet goes here and the cat box goes inside of it. It has an opening on the front and the back so a cat can go in. Again, another item we're waiting for. This actually came with our dresser. It's a mirror, but we don't, we're not gonna put the mirror up cause we wanna mount the TV. So we're just figuring out what to do with that. In the meantime, it's just kind of hanging out behind the cat box. And then the laundry room, funny story about that. When we went to do our final walkthrough, they opened the door for us and there was no washing machine or dryer. And we were not aware it didn't come with the house. Um, somehow we missed that detail, so we went and got our own washing machine and dryer. It's a Samsung. Um, I like it. I really have no complaints. I like the space that's up here. I can see me redoing this area, though, at some point, and just maybe adding another shelf or cabinets or just a little bit more to keep it, like, organized. All right. Right off the corner here is a second linen closet. I didn't show you the one. Me and my husband have one in our bathroom. And then the kids 
have their own. So that's off to the side here. And this is the youngest kids room. So Jay and the new baby, we have started stockpiling for diapers, wipes, all that good stuff. So baby's bed is here. Jay's bed is here. I really wanted him to have a bunk bed with space underneath for him to play because it's not that big of a room. So I wanted him to have his own little space. We're also going to mount his TV up there. Obviously, for safety reasons, I don't want the TV at a level where Jay could reach it or the baby could reach it. And then here's their closet, which I've yet to really organize. I need to quickly, though, because half the closet will be Jay's and then half will belong to the baby. So right now, I've just gotten as far as to have his days of the week organizer. And that is about it. I plan to put a dresser in their closet and just a couple other things. So, all right. And the last room we're going to swing into is a Mars room. Like I said, the kids aren't in Sunday school, so don't mind. Hi, children. Um, so, yeah, this is just a Mars room. She'll have a desk that goes right there. And her TV will be mounted on her wall. Um, there's her closet, which we got to organize too at some point, but it's not too bad. Probably the best looking closet in the house. And yeah, so they're just hanging out in Sunday school. So I'm going to get out of here. And the only other thing I meant to show you that I didn't is our master bedroom closet which is definitely a hot mess <laughs> um it is walk-in so there's no space to walk in we just have to finish like unpacking unboxing um yeah just a lot of different things once we get it organized though it's going to be amazing and i'll be sure to show you guys that in a different video and i think the only other thing i didn't show you was the pantry gonna fly downstairs real quick and by fly I mean try to hurry <laughs> but not really um it's our yeah okay so the pantry it's got a little fall sign there the pantry I feel like I don't know about you guys but I love pantry organization videos on YouTube and I have just been binge watching them because we need it bad <laughs> like I'm kind of making it work but it's not really working. The only thing that I even have like in jars is like <laughs> brown sugar, sugar in the raw. This is like gluten-free organic sugar. And I have like gluten-free flour, that kind of thing. Because I am trying to convert my family to living a gluten-free lifestyle. I'll let you know how that works. Then we just have like magnets on our fridge, like normal stuff. Drawings, a little daily reminder of baby. Hey, little baby. And yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Yeah, so that's our house tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really just wanted to give you like a sneak peek of what's going on in the house. I feel like there's just so much more um, to get done. So I'm sure there'll be more, like I said, videos to come. Even if it's just like, hey, we finally got all of our furniture in. Here's what it looks like now. So... Yeah, just stay tuned. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, please stay, consider subscribing and hitting that thumbs up button and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.